Hi, everyone. My name is Michael Hawkins. I'm with BCM1, one of the sales engineers. Um, today, we're going to be taking a look at our network monitoring and management platform, VitalView. Uh, before we dive into all the fun stuff and cool things that this platform can do for you, um, I want to describe some of the architecture behind it and kind of get you thinking about unique and creative ways that this might be able to help you, your clients, or your business uh, when it comes to those critical applications that we have to keep 100% uptime. So our VitalView platform lives in the cloud in geo-redundant data centers uh, across the globe, which allows us to keep 100% uh, uptime since the platform's inception. We're able to break down each one of our clients into individual tenants. So you see only the information that's, per that's pertinent to you and is secure and easily consumable way. We're able to do this and put this, a bunch of disparate information from a bunch of different sources into a single pane of glass that allows you to literally manage thousands upon thousands of different endpoints in a very easy, in a very easy manner. Um, so with that said, this is our sandbox, so we've specifically lit a couple things on fire, so we have some interesting things to look at and take a look at. Before we dive into those, what I want to do is go over the dashboard, which is the very first thing that you'll see as you log in. So in this upper left-hand corner here, you can kind of see there's a map-based view, which gives you a geographical uh, overview of your environment and any issues that may be occurring within it. So you can see if something's working well down here, or perhaps on fire up here. Outside of that geographical view, very quickly you can see, okay, we've got some issues going on with different devices that we've specifically and purposefully uh, lit on fire so that we can take a look at them. I don't wanna dive into each and every part and piece of this, but what I do wanna highlight is the different ways that we can make this information easy for you to read and take action upon. So one of the first things that we've got are big number boards. In this particular case, I'm using it to show the amount of uptime that we've had on the platform since its inception. We've also got the ability to take a look at these little charts like this in either a instantaneous format or a historical graph format. And then of course, some graphing as well. One thing that you're going to notice as you go through the platform is that a lot of the same information is displayed in a bunch of different ways. And the reason why I think that's interesting or even possibly cool is the fact that it allows you to uh, take action upon stuff where you want to do it instead of having to remember how to go through and do something a specific way. So now that we've taken a look at the overview on the dashboard, let's take a look at a couple of the most common things that, are, that we're asked to monitor and manage on this. Diving into our resources, one of the first things that we'll look at, I think this is probably the most traditional use case scenario, and that's a router. So at a glance, you can very quickly and easily see the individual interfaces on this router, whether it be 01 or 00, and the amount of traffic that they're passing or the packets that they're passing. If I've got an interesting section of data right from here, I can highlight this and zoom in. So if it's a little convoluted or a little messy, then maybe I want to take out that GE01 interface so it's easier to read. I can do that right from the chart or add it back in or add in anything as I see fit. Um, Anything that's able to be monitored through an API, SSH, SNMP, or even pings, we can bring into the VitalView monitoring and management platform under that single pane of glass. So now that we've looked at the routers, let's take a look at one other traditional device before we move into some of the more interesting applications. So this is a server that we set up and then purposefully downed um, so that we'd have something interesting to look at. When I click at it, I can see, uh-oh, this guy's been down for about 15 million seconds, and it continues to increment by one second over time. That's good. That's actually what we're looking for in this particular scenario. Now, remember how I said you're going to see a lot of the same information in a bunch of different places? This is one of those where I think that is uh, highly, highly useful. So I can see that there's an error or a problem here. I can easily click on it and take a look at what might be going on. I can add notes in here. If 
for support to take a look. I can escalate the case, or I can even acknowledge it myself and say, hey, I'm working on this right now. Don't worry about it. So it helps you prevent duplicate, duplication of effort if you've got a larger staff. Now that we've looked at the more traditional ones, I wanna get your mind thinking about some of the cooler ways, especially since I mentioned APIs earlier. Um, I think a great use case scenario for this particular product, if you're familiar with Meraki, um, they, it's Cisco Meraki does a whole bunch of uh, access points and we even use them within our headquarters. So let's take a look at how we can pull all that awesome information that's inside of the Meraki cloud into Vital View, again, in that single plane, single pane of glass or single format that we want to see it. So I can take a look at this and I can see how many APs I've got at a glance and even how many clients are connected to it. One of the ways that I might use information like this is if I see a great uh, discrepancy between, we'll say, AP4 or 3, whatever makes sense, we'll do 3, and AP2, you know, this guy's only got one more, but this guy's got two more clients. Maybe I need to move some APs in my environment. This is just one way that it's starting to be able to give you uh, more visibility into your environment in ways that you can take action upon um, that will have an impact on your business critical applications, providing a much better uh, user experience. So now that we've taken a look at those, one other way that we utilize our platform is the ability, and I think this is rather unique and kind of a, a super cool feature. So this is our BCM1 one website that we're monitoring, and it's pretty easy to send a ping to that guy from one location and say, all right, he's up. What we are actually able to do is if you're a global uh, provider and your consumers are across the globe, we, you want to measure more than just what's happening within the United States. So we've set up five different monitoring points that we can actually use to help give a better feel or judge the end user experience at each one of those locations. So for example, let's see, it looks like Singapore is pretty far away from the BCM1 website versus Washington, DC. Now again, I'm just gonna clean these up by clicking on it so I can look at the two most interesting pieces that I wanna see and then zoom in on that info. I can see that my response time is significantly more getting from Asia all the way over to uh, back to BCM, which is in the United States. If I was opening up a new market, I may wanna consider content delivery systems or CDNs that would allow me to improve that network response. And of course, these are all things that BCM can help with. So that's one example. The last thing that I wanna cover very quickly is our reports. The reporting allows you to go through and create customized reports, again, in the format that's the most easily consumable for you. So I just set this one up to take a look at the network interface and the bandwidths <clears throat> that we're passing across uh, one of our New York routers. I can set this up so I can use an interactive HTML format. I can download the raw data that the graphs are being created from, or if I wanna make sure that no one can mess with the data, I can send it as a PDF. These can be run in ad, ad hoc format as we're about to do, or you can go in and you can schedule them to be run on a specific day or time and sent to different recipients as needed. So I'll go ahead and run this report. And as that's generated, I think probably one of the coolest things about these reports, if you generate them in that HTML format, is these are not static pages, they're interactive. And it gives you the ability to go through and take a look at individual data points again, in an easily consumable and interactive format. That is our Vital View demo for BCM1 on our managed network monitoring platform. And if you have any questions or would like further information, please feel free to reach out.